Hello everyone, this is Don Kingdom 362 playing on Gun Muse, and this is the longest waited video I think you guys have ever won. You guys have beat me up, you've beat Esquay up, begging us to go into War Talents because they are confusing. So, I'm not even going to put my little scroll thing, that thing, I'm going to keep that off. Uh, I'm just going to go to the window here. Guys, War Talents. Okay. There is two paths to the War Talents. One, this was a kickback to the people who spent ten, fifteen thousand dollars 15000 on DH gear and were protesting at the time. Because guys like me, who could manipulate the math and the formation, my little C30 was kicking C35 butts pretty regularly, pretty easily, and cost effectively. And the reason wound up being, you know, I was manipulating the, the march formations in such a way that your T11s just didn't matter. And so they added in damage, but in different formats. So there's two trees here. Okay, so I'm looking at T10s. I got my C35 cooking, so I don't have T11s yet. But your T11s are going to be similar to your T9s. Okay, so take my T9 recommendations and put them into your T11s. Now, this is patch 4.0.0. So, we went from 5 to 10. So, let's look at where I got 5s on this thing right now. I'm going to change it around. Now, one of the reasons they did this was... Based on my recommendations, when you guys watch my other videos and they brought out new stats, I almost religiously told you, stop coining on the new stats, wait for events on those, because the stats are your uh, chance to hit. Damage is what happens when you hit. So if you're coining, you coin where the damage is going to land. So I'm going to now throw... Ten of these. Okay. You know what? I just did something stupid. Because that's not what I wanted. That's what I want. I'm throwing them at the rifleman. Okay. Why am I throwing them at the rifleman? Okay, that, that's what you need to understand. I can't tell you to set up your war talents. Here's the buttons to push and you're good to go. It's very job orientated. If you're a tower sitter, it's different than if you're uh, a tower leader. So you need to know why you're doing what you're doing. So damage is our ultimate goal, right? So uh, adds 15% of your royal gunner's health to their attack power. 17%. So, I've got high health. Now, what that tells me is you've got to pay attention to what you're doing in your other stats. you got areas where you can increase your health directly, your gems, and over on your airship. And the more I increase my health, the higher that damage is going to be. All right. But it's not contingent upon my opponent. I want to show you that. So we go over here to the T10. Extra damage, 2.5% of 250% of the health minus your enemy's health. You roll up against a bigger guy and he's got 1% more than you. These talents are worthless. So I'm going to opt for the guaranteed damage over the maybe damage. All right. That's... I know my tier 9s are now going to hit harder. And now that I can put 10 of them in there, they're going to hit 27% harder. Is that 13? So, where am I going to put my other ones? Well, on your tier 10, guys, uh, it's your tier 5 
that gives you that same thing that the tier 9 did. Alright. And you're sitting there thinking, like, wow, tier 5s, really? Why not the big stuff? Doesn't do as much as you think it would. I kind of proved out in a UAC before that me doing this strategy, I got about 10% more kills out of it than I did stacking up like tier 8 cavalry like I'd been doing before or reducing damage with my infantry tier 9s, which I've been doing before. So, this is the place I recommend to coin. And if you're one of these people that's that's growing slow, let's look. I mean, and I'm a grow slower here. Okay, I'm going to have to cough again. All right. Sorry about that. Uh, so let's look at the infantry. Now, the tier 10s, Purge or Ward Masters, increase their total health. There's not enough there. That's a later stat. That's a also add stats later. That's not one of them first stats you choose. Uh, because while health is important, the most you're going to get out of it is 30%. It's not enough to make a difference. So... None shall pass. Reduces damage. Reducing damage is good. For every point of damage, we get 100 points in stats. So, every war book I put here is the same as 100% in my defense on infantry. So, you can really stack up this. Stacking this up is a good thing. If I was a tower leader, this is where I'd go. Right here. The uh, It's a good number. Ah, uh, so you're going to get 300, uh, what was it, 27, so about 270. You're going to get the equivalent of stacking 270 defense on your stat. So you can buy these war books, or you can buy enough stuff to add 270 defense to your account. And I promise you, 270 stats at this level is very damn expensive. It's part of my language. So, the... Uh, that's what we're looking for. So you get your nines, and I think it's your sevens. Yeah, your sevens. Nines and sevens. So if I had 15 war books, and if you've been doing things like I have, you're probably right around the 15 war book level. Uh, and you're a tower leader, I would turn around and put it in my nines and sevens. And then that's where I would be at. Uh, the I might shift one book. One book over to Sacrifice. Now, your enemy goads into attacking them instead of your troops, and the infantry will take 3.5% damage on behalf of the other troops. So we're not really looking for the damage that the infantry is going to take, but we may take something off our other march. That's going to allow us to set up a custom formation to where we put lots of infantry in there now guys it doesn't negate the subclass tiers okay and this is the problem i have with the library of war is where they put them so nines and sevens well they're not defensive tiers okay we're talking about damage reduction there they're not defensive tiers so what are they reducing damage for so let's look at that let's go to our nines Musketeers have an increased defense against light cavalry. Light cavalry kills infantry. It's a self-circle there. Oh, I'm sorry. Right, they, they kill riflemen. All right. Riflemen kill cavalry. So, by me stacking my riflemen and... Then turn on and then turn around and get in some infantry in the way that I did. I've protected both my infantry and my riflemen. And when you protect those, you protect your cavalry. So it really does harden you quite a bit to get these damage reductions and damage numbers up. So on defense, my increased damage in my tier 9s and my tier 7s, I'm going to kill a whole hell of a lot more cavalry. 
So if I kill a lot more cavalry with my riflemen, what lives? My infantry. All right. Everybody knows you keep, they, they, they shout it out in every KVK you've been to, send more infantry, send more infantry. Well, don't send more infantry, send the right infantry. Okay. Now, we, we need to be sending tier twos, four, sixes, and eights. And you need to be sending three marches of them and not one big fat march. Because you send one big fat march, then all the eights get in the tower and everything else gets rejected. You actually still need those fours, two fours and sixes. So, you know, send a 20K formation that you got set up that's just designed to throw marches at the tower for refill. So that when it gets hit, you got three of them coming in every 30 seconds, and it kind of seeds it in slow until you get your march cap reached again. Don't throw everything all at once. You've got to understand that the game's just going to take the, the top math and throw it at it. And then your tower is in balance, and some guy like me that's good at math is going to see that, and I'm going to come in there and just bust your ass. Okay, so do take the time to build the formations up that fill slowly, and then you got to get there should be waves coming in every two minutes apart, and and fill you know so if you get sixty thousand loss on a tower, there should be or every thirty seconds apart it doesn't matter just stage them out so they go in separately, twenty k twenty k twenty k twenty k twenty k until you refill it don't throw a hundred K in one March at it all right so there, there's there's the library of war and then now there's going to be the strategy to support that library of war all right. so I'm, I'm talking about the strategy of how you support it you don't just throw things at it the uh, so like in the cavalry and this is one of these things where it depends on your job uh, the t8s of course are killers uh, so are the T6s. My favorite calve is T6. All right. I get 20 to 1 kill ratios out of T6s. The, uh, so if I was rolling up heavy cavalry marches, I'd have that T6 maxed out just because it breaks the bot It breaks up the bottom of the march. Uh, and where you're going to deploy this, so now you need to have a strategist who knows that you have this set up because you are going to break up the bottom part of the march. And that means when you hit first, there's nothing left because it does roll bottom to top on the... So if you break up the bottom and then the mega hits, there's nothing to protect that mega. It, it's, it's going to get chewed up because it's all top tier at that point. Now, there's nothing we can do about the guys who coined 75 war books, and now it's going to be 150. Uh, they have everything, but they were going to have it anyway. So, stop complaining about it. Understand how to do what you can do about it. That makes sense. So, on these war talents, now on the Spinebreaker. Everybody looking at my VA health chart. That's fun. All right. Uh, calculators. Spinebreaker 2. Our tier 10 guys. All right. There's a video. I put the video on it now so that you know what the hell is going on there. And then uh, you look down here and it says war talent. I've optimized the calendar or the calculator for that war talent. And people see these little numbers in the war talent and they get spooked. Okay, he's like, well, I got one more challenge there. Shouldn't I put more? Try it. See if you get a better response. I kind of optimize that one. I, I, I really, it's, you still want about 50% of your march in your top tier. 50, 51. And a half a percent makes a big difference. It really does. Uh, so, and it, it will depend on your stats, how far up into your tiers you roll. So I get once in a blue moon, I get some guy goes, oh, your calculator sucks. I got my butt kicked in the mines. Well, I got 15,000 other people mailing me that says how great it was for them. Uh, I'm, I hate to tell you, it might just be there's a problem in your stats, problem in your account somewhere. Uh, and it might be that there's something drastically wrong, but we haven't found it. So 
feel free to point it out. This is where the number's bad. All right, guys? It's not hard. Uh, the... Oh, boy. Got a yawn kicking on me from that cough syrup. All right. So, uh, back to the game here. If we're coining, like I said, the frost fire just dropped. If we're coining, then keep coining in the war strategies. This is where damage is at. You don't need an extra 100 stats up there. You can get 100 worth of stats down here very much cheaper than you can get it up there. You're talking $1,600 to put a show pony stat on there. $1,600 down here makes you just hard as a rock. So dollar for dollar, this is the place to spend the money right now is War Talents. Uh, you're going to be a better player if you do that. And this doesn't go away. As your stats increase then you get more hits in the roll and the damage you've already built does more damage and you kill more players. You do this first anyway. This is what we do when we're building a C30. If you guys ever looked at the stats, damage stops at C30. Okay? Except for airship. The uh, But you can't add one ounce of damage to your account past C30 right now except for the Library War and the airship. So those are the two places that you need to coin to be a better account. Those show stats at the top, wait for events. Get those for free. If, you're, if you've got $1,000 to blow on something, blow it here. All right? And then be judicious about it. Go through here and cherry pick this stuff out. Have your formation set up. Support your formation with more damage or damage reduction. Just go in order. It's not that complicated. It just seems that way. And, and it's that complicated, I, I get it, it's that complicated language up there. But like I said, you got to understand when they're saying, let me go into the distance, it's got one that's really wordy. You know, 2.5% of 250% of your health. The, uh, in other words, it's 1% of your health. They, they, they just couldn't say it that way. Uh, the, I don't, I don't know why the word 1% was not said. That's what 2.5% of, of 250%. They just made it sound bigger than it was. They, they put a big fat number up there in front of your face and a bigger number than one in front of your face. And you went, Ooh, 250%. It didn't read the math statement. You know, when they used to make you write out those little word problems in sixth grade. Yeah, that's one of these. And then it's translated to Chinese and then back to English. And then it's then it's thrown up in front of people who can't do math. The, uh, because of the new math. My gosh. Anyway. Health minus your enemy's health. And you don't know what that number is. Your health, you know what your health number is, but you don't know what that number is. You don't know until you hit them. And at that point, what the hell does it matter? Whatever's happening is happening. You're done. So, take the guaranteed stats. Don't go chasing those squirrels, rabbits, whatever I want to call them. The, uh, and, uh, I hope this helps a little bit for you to just look through and read. You've got to match your, your, see, like I said, let's go over to my gems. Let's do that while I'm sitting here looking at this. Okay, so, here's my health gems, right? So I know I'm getting more damage out of my rifleman based on my health. So I want to upgrade my health first. My recommendation on health, on gems or stats, in per, we, these are what we call inline stats. Okay, so health across the board, right? Uh, versus, let's go down to our weapon. Infantry across the board. Get my meaning? Now, you see here I've got my distance buffed up, but I don't have my cavalry buffed up because I know I play with my war talents in the distance area. So I'm getting max distance health out of this that I can get out of it so that I get max damage out of all my riflemen. Riflemen are always the biggest number in the formation.
Let's see, and just a standard. Wait a second. Just a standard formation for me. I'm rolling 25,000 distance in my T9s. You know, you saw that 8,500 on the website. That's just a website number. But I, I'm, I'm, I'm rolling a pretty fat number on my, on my T9s. And then I'll tell you a dirty little secret over here. Let's click my button three. No T10s. I'm rolling 60,000 T9s over there. The, uh, I'm maximizing my T9s and I'm maximizing my march cap to get as many T9s in the door as possible. And there's a strategic use to that kind of formation. And what that guy's is, is the Spinebreaker 1 formation. The Spinebreaker 1 does T9s, T11s. The new Spinebreaker 2 does T10s. Okay. <coughs> the war talent suggestion is the same. On the T11s, you're going to want to go ahead and move what the T9 talents to the T11 talents because they're the same as the T9, the T9 and T11s are the same talent. So that's that's your recommendation there. T12 guys, I'm not giving you any recommendations uh, simply because I haven't tested it. Uh, I, I don't want to just throw things out there as a half-ass guess. I, I, I like to know. Um, you know, if, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but I, I'd like to at least try to be right before I decide to be wrong. The, uh, so let's, let's hope that this is helpful. Get in there, match your stats, match your things for what you're doing. If I'm doing, if I'm doing a T9, if I'm going to be doing a heavy cav and I'm picking choices, then I would switch those two talents over here, over to, you know, in the guards, the cav, right? And then on my airship ability. <sighs> you want to stack your attack. You want to stack your uh, troop march first, your, your troop stats first, your attack second, and then go for your health on that one. Okay. Uh, there's too much gain in the attack on the airship to work on a sideways math dribble down from the health side because you're only looking at uh what we got there 120 so probably going to do this wrong in my head i should be writing it down so if i go to distance t9s so i'm getting 27 percent of the 120 you know just around around 31 32 somewhere around in there <coughs> man i hope i turn that call off when i turn it off but anyway i'm getting about 27 percent on that on that coa from the health being where it's at if it was down one stage it'd be 27 percent of the difference so you're looking at losing 20 points for 27% of 20, uh, or four. You're talking about four, four uh, on your, which is worth 40 on your, on your power. So four is worth 40 on the attack. So get that stuff done, but don't be in a hurry for it. Don't spend money on that stuff. There's no reason to be spending money on this. Uh, the, uh, the, just, just keep playing the events. Follow us up out there. Down the bottom right hand corner is a follow button. Like it, it's a scribe, rather. We'd like for you guys to do that. And then uh, I hope this has been a little helpful. Put down in the comments what it is you're not understanding, and I'll probably do a follow up for this one because I know this is the most asked about topic ever is the, the Library War. So I'm going to crank it out so that Esquake can crank out his version of it. And then we can compare notes and figure out what the hell's going on. Uh, we got a back room back there full of, of guys who've been playing this game forever. And quite frankly, guys, damage is unprovable numbers. So we don't have a reproduction system. And so there's a little bit of guessing there. And it's one of the reasons everybody's kind of been waiting on me. Is uh, I, I throw out the best educated guesses out there. So the uh, I get it. It's a little bit of follow the leader. Let's uh let's support the fact that we might be wrong.
the uh, I'm not I'm not comfortable with with solid answers on this yet. So down the bottom right hand corner, subscribe. Go to the website RogersRaiders.com. There's every video ever over on the website, and Esquay's videos are also on the RogersRaiders.com now. Uh, if you haven't followed and subscribed to Esquay, I encourage you to do so. Just like you're going to subscribe to me right now. Click that button. And I hope this has been helpful. Thank you guys a lot.